when we first purchased it, it was it was very run down. It had been um, left to ruin for many years. Uh, it had actually had a house fire in one end of it, um, so there was a portion of it that had been sort of burnt down. It didn't seem as daunting as, as, as what it probably turned out to be in the end. The structural side of the house was really good. Um, like it's obviously a Caulfield blockwork house on the outside with suspended concrete floor. I've had a lot of interest from the neighbourhood. Obviously, you know, some of the feedback from the neighbourhood is oh, we're so glad that, you know, you've resurrected what is like a, a, a grand home. It's, it's something that people drive past on the street now and, and have been watching. So yeah, we've sort of, we tried to attack it as, as quick as we could, but yeah, it's obviously a, a very large house, so every time we turned around there, there's just more stuff to be done. And it's just over an acre of land and you've pretty much covered the whole entire block, so we have some, you know, grassed areas that children can run around in um, and yes it was a jungle to begin with and now it is you know a combination of established trees, um, landscaped gardens and formal gardens which is beautiful and they will all still grow up and there's also room for someone to add their own touch. The flooring gets lots of comments actually, it's, a, um, it's an American oak flooring in a chevron pattern, um, all individually laid which yeah, it took the guys weeks to get it down. Um, it's all got to be glued down with a notch trowel and, and yeah, it, just a, it was a big undertaking actually, especially in a house that's got lots of angles and lots of curves. People were saying, really what they were saying was, they're just so glad that someone saved the house. Yeah, we are all very proud to look at it now and see it, see it finished. Yeah, you've done an incredible job.